Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a date using Kotlin. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import java.x.simpledateFormat, as we'll be needing this for this tutorial. So, in our main function we do validate equals 31st of April 2020. This variable will represent user input, but this tutorial will not teach you how to get user input, only how to validate it. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how to get user input using Kotlin. It will work perfectly with this tutorial. Then we're going to do print line is validate and date. So we're going to be calling this function we're going to make in a moment. We're going to pass in our date and then print if it's valid or not. Let's go and define our function. So firstly, we are going to do fun because functions are fun. Is valid date because that's the name of our function. Date colon string because that's going to be our one parameter. It's going to be a string and it's going to be called date. Then we do a colon. Then we do boolean because we're going to return a true or a false. True for valid, false or invalid. Then we do a curly bracket and another one down here. So firstly, we're going to do val date format equals simple date format. And then we're going to pass in a date pattern. This is the UK format. You can use whatever format you want to do. Just make sure the format is the correct one you want to be checking for. And then after that we do date format dot is lenient equals false. Basically this is going to tell our date format that a date has to strictly follow this pattern. If we set it to true it will have some leeway. I advise you have it set to false. After that we are going to do try date format dot pass date return true catch exception e return false. Basically, we're going to try some code. If an error occurs, we execute what's in the catch statement, which is a return false. So the program doesn't crash. And then we say write this date, which is a string, cannot be converted to a date object. Therefore, it's not valid for the format we want. However, if date format dot pass date works and no error occurs that means our object was able to accept the string containing a date and was able to convert it into the format we want therefore it's valid and therefore we can return a true after and that's it for this tutorial so we're going to hit Control s to save and then hit play and it says false so basically there's no 31st of april there's only 30 days that's why it says false. This is a throwback to a very old Java tutorial that I had where the program successfully said that the 31st of April did exist, but, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't exist. That's why I'm doing it here. But if we did something like 29, it, it's true. But what if we did 0429 instead? Well, it's going to be false because that's probably an American date format or someone actually thinks there are 29 months. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials. Thanks for watching.